Now that we have our oil sender installed and the wires run to the dash, we can begin the installation of the gauge assembly. First, we're going to remove the lower console by disconnecting the wires that run to the power windows and traction control buttons. Then the lower console simply unclips. With the lower console removed, you can now start to remove the center dash assembly by removing these Phillips screws. To disconnect the radio, we used a little trick utilizing household nails for each of the four corners of the radio. But first, these two screws need to be removed. Once the screws are removed, you can pull the dash forward, which also releases the radio. Then just pull the dash far enough away to disconnect the emergency flasher wiring plug. Now we're going to take both gauges wire harnesses and create an intermediate extension for the gauges ends. For detailed information on this process, see our technical notes on the website. We've already removed the main gauge cluster dash bezel so we can tap into the existing GTO gas door release wiring. This button has a wire that is live so that the new pod lights both in day and night driving. We chose this so our gauge colors match for both the day and night driving. The modified harness butts must get plugged back into the main gauge bezel before reinstalling. The dash clips back in and gets secured by three Phillips screws. Back to our gauge assembly, we're securing the gauges with these two set screws. Be careful not to over tighten as the screw could penetrate the main gauge circuitry. We test fit our gauge assembly in the upper console and realize that we need better clearance for our gauges before continuing. So we marked our center on each gauge 
and dremeled a semicircle in the upper console for full clearance. Now we can confidently begin our final reassembly of the upper console by reattaching the emergency flasher connector, routing the new harness, and reinstalling the Phillips screws. and the radio can slide right back in place. Once that is installed, we can reinstall our lower console by reconnecting the power window and traction button connectors. Lastly, don't forget there's this one little hidden screw under the ashtray that should be reinstalled. Now it's time to drop in the new gauge assembly by simply reconnecting our rear gauge terminals and snapping the assembly into the dash. Finally, our GTO is ready for use on our new gauges. The Glow Shift brand units we chose allow for changing the color to suit our preference at a very reasonable price.